Hello, welcome to Geojit Spotlight. There are mainly three factors driving this bull market. One, the bullish global market. Two, the sustained flows into the market, particularly from retail investors. And three, the good performance of the Indian economy. These three factors continue to be favorable. The US market is very bullish. S&P 500 has given return of 17.6 percentage year till date against Nifty's return of 12.38 percentage till date. MSCI World Index has delivered returns similar to India's. A hugely significant factor uh, is the sustained fund flows into the market by the retail investors. Last month, the SIP inflows were a record, rupees 21,262 crores. The total AUM of the mutual fund industry has crossed rupees 61 lakh crores. The fundamental factor that supports this fund flows is the very good performance of the Indian economy. In FI24, India's GDP grew by 8.2 percentage, the best in the world in large economies. Nifty earnings grew by 24 percentage. Nifty 50 EPS grew by 24 percentage. These are impressive numbers. The concern, however, is in valuations. High valuations can trigger selling. An important factor in valuations is the excessive valuations in some segments like defense and uh, railways. It is true that these segments, defense and railways, have bright prospects for many years. That's sure. But the excessive valuations of stocks in these segments indicate that most of the good news are already in the price. Many years of very good earnings have already been discounted by the markets. That's why price earning multiples are above 50, 60, 70, and in some cases above 90. Difficult to justify. So investors have to be very careful. But there are some stocks in these segments like BEML, for instance, where valuations are fair. Yesterday, many small cap stocks were locked in upper circuit, 5% upper circuit. Many of these are low grade stocks. Market operators are driving these stock prices up. These are symptom, symptoms of uh, bull market excesses. Investors should exercise caution chasing these momentum stocks. SEBI is likely to introduce some restrictions in, on FNDO trading. Trading in FNDO in India is the highest in the world. This is very unhealthy since 90% of uh, small traders are losing money. It is uh, learned that the working group on FNDO set up by SEBI has suggested substantially increasing the trading lot of FNDO to dissuade retail investors. One expiry for FNDO trade per exchange also is rumored to be a, an important recommendation. Uh, SEBI is likely to implement these recommendations for uh, severely restricting FNDO trades. Retail investors should uh, refrain from excessive trading. There are many retailers who are addicted to FNDO trade. This is very undesirable. The path to long-term wealth creation is through systematic investment.